Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at another starting base. This one is very big and very impressive and features pretty much everything you'll ever need for survival mode, including vehicles. And it's called the Deluxe Starting Base, which is this lovely thing that I'm currently standing on. So this is a giant multi-floor building that features, well, assemblers, refineries, cargo containers, hydrogen tanks, auction tanks, and a bunch of different vehicles from flying mining ships, transport ships, exploration ships, to a small land vehicle to go around, drive, and scout for ore patches. So pressing F10 and find this in the spawn menu, the Deluxe Starting Base is a mod IO item, and it says it's a whopping 11,073 large blocks, using no DLC packs and no mods. We see here a nice lot of information about it on the mod IO page, such as all the vehicles that are currently docked up, and I do recognize this thing, because I have done a showcase of that a long time ago. So I'm going to give this a thumbs up, I'm going to double click this, and just spawn it into the distance, so we can see the actual block count, which is 9,934, so it is a little bit smaller than what it states on the spawn menu. Anyway, with the free camera, we'll have a little pan around the outside, see what it looks like, then we'll go around on foot, and have a good look at what it does. So at the very front, this is what we get. So on the bottom left, we've got a lovely hangar bay, which is going to be where our land vehicle is going to get in and out. The hangar is big enough to fit multiple vehicles inside, so if you're not happy with the current vehicle, you can always store your own. Right above that, we can see a bunch of glass window blocks, which is where our ships are currently being docked up. This is one of two ship storage bays, and I believe that is the one with a mining ship and a transport ship, and the other one should have exploration ships, which all feature atmospheric thrusters, so they are only good for planets. Onto the right hand side of this building, we can see a couple more glass panels, which go into our main body, which features all the refineries, all the assemblers, and all of our storage. We also have a couple of conveyors that don't have anything connected onto it. I'm not sure if this is intended or not, or if it's meant to have a connector onto it, but one of them will be for your ingots and the ore to be dropped off. The other one is going to be for a general drop off, like ammunition and anything else you collect. Right at the very bottom, we can see two doorways to get in and out, which is always nice. And as we have to move around onto the sides, over on this side, we will see another connection point and a bunch more windows to peer inside. So once again, our connector is not connected up to anything. And right above that, we can see an antenna to make sure we can always find this thing. And if we were to come around onto this side, next to our little printer, we will have a couple more doorways, which is going to be for our medical bay, and then another general storage. Right above there is our second hangar bay for our ships to get in and out. And if we were to move along onto this section, we can see our land vehicle right below there. Then we can see our ships right above it. So the ships are the exploration ships, the mining ships will be inside that one. And just looking down here, we've got another doorway to get in and out. Then turning around, that is our printer. We've got a button panel right below there, which will display another ship that you can build, if that's what you want to do. Yeah, just moving away and looking down, when you spawn it in, you do get a bunch of these little pillars, which can be a bit awkward to play around with. As you can see, it's not actually quite flush on the ground. So yes, I'm not actually sure why they're there, but they are quite useful. You are trying to spawn this in on uneven surfaces. If we look all the way up and look down at it, that is all we can see, so it's not really too much to talk about there. They're coming all the way down and underneath it. All the way down, wherever the camera was going there, that is all we can see. So yes, that's a very brief look around the outside of the deluxe starting base. Now what I can do is just grab hold of my character, and we start going around the actual meat of this video. So I'm pausing the game, coming over to this doorway, and you can choose any of these doors, whichever we want. I'm going to come through this one, and it's just a singular door, and this is what we're greased with. So this is one hell of a lot of unfinished blocks adding as scaffolding, and one hell of a lot of conveyors linking everything together. We also have a lot of sorters to make sure everything goes where it needs to go, and we do have a few ways where we can actually walk around and go into different rooms. But for the moment, around here, there's a little window that goes into our land vehicle bay. Looking up, even more conveyors, and walk across to this place, there's our refinery, and a couple of lights to make sure it's not completely dark inside. Over to this section, this is our other doorway on the front. So we went in through the one on the side there. We come through this way. And we just walk around here. There's a large cargo container. There's another large cargo container. There's a bunch of batteries that are all the way around this room to give it a nice lot of power. There's a hydrogen engine, a cargo access in case you need it. And around to here, there's a hydrogen tank, a bunch more sorters. Looking up here, can't really see too much, just a bunch of conveyors. Walking around past this cargo container, we've got steps that lead all the way up. This will go both to our land vehicle bait and then to our ships. We do have a few other places to go first of all. If you were to come around over to this section, we do have a bum panel with nothing set up. Up to this, this is our large cargo container for ice. Turning around and coming over to this one, this is going to be for our ingots. Then coming out of that, move around over to this section, past our O2H2 generator. 
We've got a doorway which should take us to the back of this area, which is our med bay and our storage, which we saw at the very back of this building. So opening up this one, this does have a double door for an airlock. Turning around, there's our medical bay, there's a bunch of cryopods, then looking around the room, that's all we get. And that's the doorway we saw at the very back, with once again a double door, and there's our vehicle printer. We'll come back to that in just a minute, we just need to walk around here. We've got a gravity generator, a button to control the gravity generator, there's a refinery, then turning around, there's a general storage with an Evan attached onto it. But now we can walk out of this door, come over to our printer, then we can return back into the building and go up the steps. So yes, this is our printer, we can print a pretty large ship out of this, but coming over to the button panel, we see that it is currently set up with something on it. So we've got three buttons on this, first one's going to be for our spotlights right about there to turn on and off, the second one's going to be for our general lights all the way around this area, then the third one's going to be for our projector, we can see it is projecting a small little ship, so there is that if you want to build it. But for the moment I'll turn that off, and now we can turn around and come back through these doors, and we'll go around to the land vehicle bay which is sitting right next to us. So through this door all the way around, opening up this one, closing that, into here, back into this big jumble of everything we'll ever need, we now walk up these steps, and turn around, and this will give us another great view. So we can see an ore detector, there's the top of our cargo container, Moving all the way around, we've got a great view outside through that window. There's a bunch of batteries, there's an air vent, and now we're walking on top of our hydrogen tanks. So there's that all the way around. It does make quite a nice shadow with all the little stilts below us. Yes, walking around, batteries, car green tanks, lots and lots of conveyors. Anyway, moving all the way around, back to where we were. We've got a little junction to go through, where we can come through this section to go up to our ships, or we can come around to here to our land hangar. Open up the doorway all the way through, and this is our big hangar we saw at the very front. There's our small little vehicle. We now walk all the way around. There's a doorway that will come into our lower engineering bay, which is right through here. And now we can come up to our little vehicle, which spawns by default. And this does look very familiar. I'm not sure if we did a showcase on this before or something similar. But it does look very, very familiar. But yes, it's a simple little land vehicle powered by a hydrogen engine. We've got a few car contains on it. We've got a connector at the back. And we can carry one person with us, in addition, of course, to the driver. Looking up and down, there's the solar panel, nice little spotlights, got an antenna on it, a ladder on the side, and there's our containers in the middle. Turning around, that'll be our doorway next to our printer, in fact I don't need to go outside because you can see it through the window. Now we just walk up these steps, up we come, through the door, all the way around, up these steps. We now come up to a little security checkpoint, where we will be greeted by an interior turret. So up here, once again, a double door, all the way around, there is our interior turret, we see an air vent, a bunch of button panels, and a lovely blue light. Turning our attention over to this section, this is for our mining ships, We've got a little seat to sit in, and a button panel right next to it. The button panel is going to be for the doors to open and close, and of course to turn on and off our spotlights, but these are the vehicles we get. We've got a little transport ship that is like a space truck, and then a traditional mining ship to go out and about, and of course to mine your ore. Coming back around from this, coming down the steps, all the way around, past our turret, this is our doorway to get into our hangar bay to actually drive these things around. So we come down to here, come into the space truck. I want to come to this one first of all. And now we can disconnect that and fly it away. So once again, like I said at the start, these are atmospheric ships. So we can't use these in space. But now we can reverse this way and we'll transport whatever's inside this to where it needs to go. So just go and drop this down onto the platform and come back inside. So now all the way back up to here, this is our mining ship. I've got a nice lot of miners on there, so we should be able to collect up a lot in a short amount of time. But anyway, coming back up to this, we will come back around there in just a moment, through this door. We now come up to this, where we've got once again a seat and bump panel set up, where can once again control the doors and supplies above us. But this is our exploration and transport ship bay. Well, as you can see down there, I did do a showcase on that. That is a little speeder ship. Right next to it is a lovely transport ship with a bunch of containers on the back. But once again, we can now come back around to where we were, through this door, down past this section, now come into here. There we've got a little speeder ship right next to it, a very luxury looking ship. There's our transport ship, and there's the one I did a showcase on quite some time ago. In fact, just for old time's sake, let me just come into here, undo the parking brake, take this off, and reverse this thing out. So out we come, and away we go. A very nice little ship, and a very nice setup for the base. As for that, that is pretty much it. What the deluxe starting base has to offer. It's a lovely base that features pretty much everything you need for survival mode. It's a very good way to start survival mode if you don't want to do the starting section of getting built up and slowly building yourself up and up and up 
and just skip across till you have a fully working base where you can build pretty much everything. And of course, if you really want to, while I'm driving this thing around, you can remove the stilts from the bottom, attach some thrusters on this, and make it into a big ship and just fly it around to planet the planet or to wherever you need to go. Yes, as for that, that is pretty much it for the Deluxe Starting Base. It's a lovely base to use in your world. There'll be a link to it in the description below if you wish to download and play out yourself. And to finish this off, I think what I'll do is use this poor little transport ship and slam it straight into it. So here we go. I don't think we'll get up to maximum speed. We should do a nice lot of damage. Here we go in three, two, one. String down hangar bay. And well, we decimate the ship. Didn't really do too much to the base itself. And looking down there, that's all that remains. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.